Hello my planner pals and welcome back and if you're new here then thank you for joining me and giving me a try. My name is Di, I am here at Creative Karma Design and today we've got a use all of the stickers in the sticker box and this is the Brave Teacher, the big and I got this on sale for 6 50 I will always pick the teacher books up if they're on sale. Let's be honest, I'll, I pretty much pick up any book that's on sale but I literally, this is, this is take two, I've literally just done this and then find out that I wasn't recording. So let's start over, shall we? So I love the color scheme in this. It does match with the Bright Type book and it probably has some other matches as well. So if you're looking for kind of coordinating colors, Bright Type book. A lot of these have kind of a learning theme rather than a teacher theme. So don't be afraid of picking these up is what I will say. Because this one says, you don't just teach, you inspire. This one says, the best teachers are those who show you where to look but don't tell you what to see. Teachers make a world of difference. This is probably the most teachery themed stuff in here, right? Now this, if you haven't seen it before, I have a, a, a stencil that is the exact size of the Happy Planner Classic box, which is this, right? It's one and a half by two and a half. This is for the big. This says you don't just teach, you inspire. Now I cut out that and it says you inspire. I can do washi on either side, washi on either side on all of those. These to me are more like planner things rather than teacher things. So this says life is better when you're teaching. I would just cut that, cut that and smush it together. These, you can use the glasses that are there. You've got a little accent there for a little bit of washi. You could cut that there. You've got a little globe. You could even just cut out the teacher's make right there, or the teacher's. You cut out teacher's there. You cut out that little bit. And then you've got make a world of difference. Doesn't matter whether you're a teacher or not. Everybody needs to make a world of difference, right? Check it off. You don't just teach, you inspire. What I would do with these, um, and this is what I said earlier, but it was cut out. So um, if you have a little circle sticker or a little st circle stencil, get something to trace around there so that you can cut off. You don't just teach, you inspire. And cut that off there and then stick that in your planner and it comes out there comes out there. You've got a little half circle kind of sticker. That's what I would do. Same with this one. Teachers make a world a better place. Get something that you can trace around. It doesn't have to be a stencil. If you have washi tape, you've got something that you can trace around. You can do that there. That works just as well. Same with this. If you want the apple here, and you know, you probably got these in tons of different sizes. I know I have. You want the apple here, trace around the inside, trace around the outside. Save the little cardboard thing, and you've got one that will probably be exactly the right size there to use as a stencil. Feeling lucky to be a teacher. And then you've got feeling lucky. You've got a little bullet, a little flag that you can make there. Reminder stickers, they're perfect. Life happens, coffee helps. Now the one thing that I did just say, but obviously it wasn't recording, if you have sticker paper, and you or regular paper even, just apply some adhesive, if you don't like a sticker, only the brave choose to teach, you could cut that there, you've got glasses. Cut that there, you've got a little bullet. Or just stick some sticker paper on and you've got exactly the same thing that you've got here. <laughs> you've got exactly the same thing. You can cut these out just using, this is all I did, I just used my washi, which is why it was on my table. I just used that as a little template. If you have a Cricut, these are one and three quarter inches wide. So just cut some out on some white sticker paper and stick them down. Yep. That is kind of planner related, not teacher related in my opinion. Again, these, they're not teacher. These can apply to everything. Believe there is good in the world. You don't need to be a teacher for that to apply. The future is bright, but if you don't like these, get some white out, white them out, get some sticker paper, put your sticker paper on there, and then 
put some fresh sticker paper. Same as easy. If you don't like the glasses, but this fits your, your layout, put that on there. If you want to use this vertically, put some sticker paper in there. You're not forced to keep with the horizontal. I love using these in my dashboard this way. So I will tend to put sticker paper on these because I would much rather the be dot grid or graph, but they do insist on putting lines in. Put some sticker paper on there, change it. Love these. If you don't like the pencils, what I've done before is you have a bullet, you have a bullet. They don't even look like pencils at that point. And then in the middle, you've got a little bit of washi. So I showed you here before I realized that I wasn't filming, but this says staff meeting. You can cut that out exactly as you've seen here as a little flag with a little apple on it. Exactly as you see here. And all I did was I took my stencil here. I hope you can see that. That's got a little, a little flag. And then I just cut the top flat. That's all I did. Use my stencil, cut the top flat. These I don't really like because they've got open ends. That's just my preference. But if I was using these, I would take that bleed, I would take the bottom bleed, put it on the vertical edges so that I've actually got like a, a frame around the whole box. That's what I would do. You could also just take the middle bit, use it as a header. You could just take this bit and use it as a to-do list. I mean, if you think about that, You've got to-do lists there, and you've got a header there, and you've got a little bit of washi. All on the same sticker. Think outside the box. I love these. Again, I like these from my dashboard. Work hard, be kind. You could just do work hard. You could just do be kind. You could just do this bit. You could cut this bit in half this way so that you've got a thinner strip of washi. If you don't like the little... Mm, icon that's on these grab your sticker paper put your sticker paper on there grab your white out put your white out on there and you don't have to keep them this size you can cut them in half you can cut them down you can smush them in make them fit your size so these I personally only use these in a sidebar I don't I don't like them on my page I don't like colored colored boxes of my page I like to layer them you can layer these with another box you can layer these with another box if you're struggling to use them layer layer them with another box put something else on top of them the other thing is you can just put your little box down and then you've just got like a little note box instead other thing that you can do is chop that there now you've got a little to-do strip you've got a little header you can also washy, 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 washy. Cut them down. Get your study on. Sticker paper. Now, clearly you would fit this to actual size, but sticker paper, now it's got nothing. Inspire others, now it's got nothing. For the love of learning, now it's got nothing. You don't have to stick with what's in there. You don't have to stick with what's in there. Same with these, love this class. Boom, now it says nothing. But first all the coffee, now it says nothing. If you don't want that, now you've got one that is blank. And it doesn't have to be sticker paper, it can be regular paper. You could even kind of repurpose some like lined paper or graph paper or dot paper. It doesn't have to be sticker paper. Um, I did, I did one all about this, but this one said training and I just cut it into a little flag that says training. And then this one I could cut up into a flag, into a bullet, into something, but think about the words that are on there. Summer vacay. You can have one that just says summer, one that just says vacay, book fair. You take I think I actually showed you on this. Yeah, I did. You can take out, did I? No. You can take out the bit that says fair and then just layer that straight onto there. And then you've got book and a little open book. And then you do just write underneath what book you're reading, right? This one says free day. 
bullets. Look at how many bullets you've got there that all match. Look at how many bullets you've got there that all match. Again, you've got one there that says midterm. Cut there, same as here. Cut there, cut there, smush them together. Smush them together. You've got a little pencil there. If you're using a pencil theme, just cut the pencil off. Yeah, you've got to think about things not as they are, but in different pieces. This one says fall break. If you are not doing fall break, take out the fall, take out the break, and then you've got one that just says fall. Or you've got a little bullet there, and you've just got the word fall there. These I did, I did show you, but again, it didn't record. You just take off the bit that says grade papers and you make yourself a little mini flag. You give yourself a little mini flag. The other thing that you can do is that you take it just above where it says grade, just as you would normally, and then you've got like thick, chunky bullets. Or you could smush those all together and have like a, um, a washi strip that you've created. And you could even do them that way rather than do a thin, skinny one like that, you could put that one there, that one there, and then have a thicker one, like a, a striped one. That's what I'm looking for. You can have a chunky stripe or a thin stripe. These, you can have them as is. You can cut the candles off. You could put cut birthday out and put it here. You could cut birthday out and then put happy because you're just happy, not because it's a birthday. It's the same, just in, in silver. You don't just teach, you inspire. Cut off the don't, you don't just teach. You inspire. That can have, that can just be anybody. That can just be anybody. The world needs more of what you have. Again, it can be for anybody. This one says, lucky to be a teacher. Just cut that off and then you've just got an apple. For the love of learning, that can be for anybody. Life happens, coffee helps. Get yourself a little Sharpie and cover, cut that out. If you just want the cup, just color that in. And you could even color that in in silver, if because that's in silver, but yeah. Only the brave choose to teach. Cut that, cut that, and you've got one that says brave with an apple. Give them something great to imitate. Of all of them, this is the weirdest one, because this one, this one, you can cut up. You don't just teach, you inspire. You cut off that round a bit. You've got a book, you've got inspire. This one says, the trick to having happy students is to first be yourself. You cut that off, you cut that off, you've got one that says happy. This is the hardest one, I think, but I would just do give the and then save it for something, something. <laughs> um, but yeah, I would just save it for when you have an occasion or I would cut the letters out, cut the letters up, or something just to use it somewhere else. These, the only one that I think is teacher related is this one. Yeah, all the rest you can use as is if you wanted to, but again, washi, 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 washi. You could even get a couple there. You could take that off. You just got a pair of glasses. You could, again, if you wanted to, do that. You could do that. You could do that. All of those work. If you wanted to, again, you could do that here. Just do a longer one, like, you know, a, a long box there. But you could also do yourself a nice chunky bit of washi there chunky bit there. You could do yourself a nice interesting bit there with a silver line across it. Think outside the box. Same here. Education can change the world. You could cut that there, cut that there, have the world, and then one there it says can change the world. You could just put your little white sticker on. Would that fit? No. But teaching from the heart inspires dreams. Stick a paper, stick a paper, stick a paper, stick a paper. But even these, I mean, they're not, get your study on. It's not teachery. Everybody should be doing some form of self-development. Get your own study on. 
it's okay to make mistakes. Again, it's not teacher related. It's anybody related. Never forget the difference you've made. Anybody. The world is changed by your example, not by your opinion. That applies to anybody. These I showed you how to do, but I don't know what I did with this, the paper. So all I did was cut it right there at the bottom of the assignment. And then I stuck them together. I just stuck them together. And then I have a regular box. A regular box. Don't forget with a little apple in it, but you can use those as in, as is. Today's list, don't forget, do today, priorities. Yeah, you can use those as is, but again, if they don't fit your theme, get yourself some circles, clearly not this big, but get yourself some circles. I do have some somewhere, one second. Now, I, these aren't big enough, but I cut these on my Cricut and you just put that in the middle. Now, clearly that's not gonna be the right size, but yeah. Get yourself some circles, and these are three quarters of an inch. So if you have a Cricut and you want to cut yourself some circles like I have here, then cut yourself a bunch of circles, like in the one and a, whatever it was, one and three quarters, I don't know what it was, but it was something like that. One and a half, one and three quarters, and then some that are this size, and then you could just go through three quarters of an inch and just slap them down on all of those and you've got some little circle stickers, circle stickers. The other thing that you could do is cut these. These are on clear. I'm gonna put this underneath so you can actually just see what I'm doing. Cut that there. I'm gonna put that one back in the book, but cut that there so you can t cut out. I mean, you can't actually tell that that's an apple now that I've done that. That just looks like a little bullet. That one still looks like an apple, so let's do that one. But the bum of the apple, do you call it the bum of the apple? The bum of the apple just looks like a regular little decorative aspect. But this one, because it still looks like an apple, just cut around it. And then, don't forget, boom. And then you can do that with all of those. Just cut the apple out. Cut the apple out if you don't like it. Beautiful, beautiful. I wouldn't change a damn thing about those. Nope. If you don't want due date, get yourself some sticker paper. Put that in there. Get yourself some white out. Put that in there. These things, I'm going to say the same as I did before. Cut that to there. Oops, I've got some sticker there from the other thing. Cut that to there. You've got a bullet. Just cut out the bit that says test and you've got two nice and chunky bullets there or accents or something for your page. Those have been over. Um, the other thing that you could do with these, again, if you have a Cricut, just put your hexagon in there, cover it up with sticker paper, but um, that's my preferred quick and easy method. And you've got two pages there. Again, quiz, I would just do the same thing. Just cut it out. Cut it out. These, same as before. But here's the thing with these. These are a little more um, usable. I want The word I'm looking for is usable. So these say lesson plan. We are planners. You've got one that says plan. The other one's a bullet. Those are all bullets. Those are all bullets. Lesson plan. So you've got plan. Meeting, reschedule, plan, meeting, reschedule. You can use all of those either as is or just cut them up a little bit. These you can use as is. And the thing is, even if you don't like the globes, think about them again as little bits. You've got a little, um, I mean, they look like a little mini trumpet, but <laughs> a little thing here. That can be a little checklist, a little bullet for your checklist. I use these all the time for like um, like books that I'm reading or something. But yeah, I, they're usable. If you're a planner, we all have scissors. You can use the sharpeners. If you're a coffee lover, a tea lover, October is apple month. So if you want to spread all about apples, there you go. 
apple cider for fall. These, like again, art supplies, art spread. And then we've got some alphabet stickers at the end. So yes, that is how you can use some ideas of how you can use all of the stickers in the Brave Teacher Big Book. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, then give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. And I will see you next time, my planner pals. Bye.